Okay, so that's representing integers, which is something you might need to do. The next question then is how do we represent text? So we want to send an email or you know, store a message, transmit a message from A to B. How might we go about that? In general, we're talking about storing stuff on a disk. But very often it's easier to visualize it as you're sending a message. So you have a, you have a source or a transmitter and you want to send the message across some medium to a destination or a, rece or a receiver. So sometimes it's easier to, to visualize that way, but what information the two parties need to have in order to, to communicate. So how many bits do we need to represent a character? So if you're sending messages using letters, how many, how many bits do you need? Why do you say eight? Well, I mean, we kind of depend on how many characters there are, I guess. I mean, if you had a language that had only six characters and a space and a full stop, you could probably do it with three bits, whatever. Do you know? That does seem um, unlikely. Um, so let's kind of have a rough idea there how many characters we might need for English. So if you're going to do lowercase and uppercase, we'll have 26 lowercase letters. 26 uppercase letters in, in English. In Irish you've slightly less, in Spanish and Polish you've slightly more. Um, we'd want digits probably, so there's 10 of those, zero to nine. And then if we threw in 30 punctuation, you know, grammar, uh, punctuation knickknacks for good measure, we'd have, we'd have enough in 20 I'd say. We could say in 92 might be enough. So if we had 92 characters in our character set, how many bits then would we need to, s to send messages? Seven. I think seven, wouldn't you? Because, because six bits would only give you 64, which isn't enough. I think you probably had a pinch, you could probably make do with 64. Um, Seven bits would give you 128, and then eight bits would give you 256. So I think seven bits would be loads. So we could here, for example, we could say that, you know, 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 would be lowercase a, 0000001 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, could be lowercase b, 0000010 could be lowercase c, for example. Although it's not clear from this how you would read the table. Like is A, well A is a bad example, is B 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Do you read across first and then down? And that's not, that's not entirely clear, I think, from this table. But anyway, you could basically have sequences seven bits long and each sequence of seven bits would get its own character. Each character would get its own sequence of seven bits. Um, so... And of course, I've left off the bottom of this. There's room for loads more. If you look at this, the table could be nearly as long again. But this one is a, it's quite a small one. Okay. So in this case, for example, we're saying um, 00, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 is uppercase C. Now it's totally makey uppy. Right? I, just, I mean, I made up that mapping of bits to characters. Obviously, if I walk up to you in the street and say, you know, 0010100, like, you might be able to establish that I'm giving you a 7-bit code. Maybe. Um, but even if you could do that, 
you know, knowing what the mapping of bit sequences to characters is. That's something we would have to agree beforehand for it to make any sense. So without a table that maps the bit sequences to characters, the bits themselves are meaningless. No, so we have a scenario here where well let me show you here, okay? So um the so it's it's after the zombie apocalypse, okay, and the humans are holed up in different outposts. Um, outpost 20 there has, has fallen to the zombies already, okay? And the people in um, Outpost 19 have been using the traffic lights on the edge of town to communicate with the other outposts. So basically there's a switch inside in the compound that's still secure that they can flip the traffic lights at the edge of town and the people in the next town over have a watchtower and they can see the traffic lights and they're doing the same and they're using the traffic lights on the edge of town to communicate with each other okay so they're communicating with outpost 21 and outpost 22 right get the idea no um we got this report here from outpost 19 um, they had an irish um, computing student but he was he was lost in the latest um, zombie attack, right? And he had been working on um, a new way of doing it. They had been using Morse code, because some of them were ex-military and they knew how to use Morse code, so they were flipping on and off the lights using Morse code. But he was saying that's really, really inefficient. There's a much better way to do that. And he was working on that, but then he got killed as happens in zombie apocalypses. So they could see from his notes that he had like 23 times 23 equals 64 and that was the key to it. Because there's a pair of lights on the end of town and that's all they have, his notes. So they've sent out a request to, to the other outposts to so figure out what was going on. Any ideas? Hmm? So that's all they have. Any thoughts, any ideas, what he was on about? What if I told you they misread his note and he wasn't saying 23 times 23 is 64. If he was saying two to the power of three times two to the power of three is 64. Does it start to make more sense? What he had in mind? So what do you think he was thinking of? Well, essentially each one of those lights is like a bit. So you could have, let's say they were like light left and right, like red and amber on the left one turned on and green on the right one turned on. That could be one combination. You know, red and red would be another combination, maybe red, amber, green on the left and amber green on the right could be another one. So you could have something almost like this. So if you've only got three bits in one and three bits on the other. Do you get the idea? So you've got eight possibilities 
for the left traffic light and eight possibilities combinations of lights for the right traffic light. So what I'd like you to do there, maybe in, in pairs, have a think about how you would allocate those slots. So you've got 64 slots to play with. How might you use them up?